We're in the Energy Conservatory lab today, and this test is going to be the digital true flow grid matched with the DG1000 manometer. First thing we're going to need to do, power up the DG1000 manometer by holding down the power button on the top of the gauge. Next, we're going to hold down the power button on the digital true flow for three seconds to see the green light flash. Once we do that, there's two settings we need to make sure are correct on the DG1000 before we go any further and I'm going to give you a close-up on that right now. This is the DG1000 gauge. Let's go ahead and get the two settings right that we need for the test for the digital true flow. If you click settings, you'll notice Bluetooth. Let's make sure that's enabled, so we're good to go there. Let's hit home. Let's go to gauge. Let's go to settings. At the bottom it says units. Let's click there. All right, where it says pressure, and inches of water column. Let's make sure inches of water column is selected. We can go back, back, and there we go. Now we're ready for the test. Okay, now that you got your DG1000 gauge set up and ready to go, now we can take out our Bluetooth capable device. Okay, follow me along as I take you through the workflow. Now let's open the TrueFlow app. There's our home screen where we have our selections of which workflow we want to go down. But first, let's go down to devices. You'll see the two devices I have here ready to be, pa they're powered up, but I need to connect them to the device. So let's hit the pluses on the screen. You'll notice there'll be a minus sign. That means that they are now Bluetooth connected to my device. Let's go to measure, select our workflow. We're going to do the second one down, system airflow. We've got to make a quick few selections. Air handler, upflow, Cooling capacity, two tons, air filter location, filter grill, cooling climate, 350 CFMs per ton. Let's click next at the bottom. Okay, system details. We need to read over these, make sure there's nothing we need to do to prepare the equipment for the test. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Okay, let's let that fan motor get all the way up to speed and then we can click continue. Now we can begin that test. So, let's take our static pressure probe, put it in the supply plenum against the direction of airflow. Let's take our DG1000 gauge, hook up the hose to the first port, leaving the second port of channel A open as a reference. Mount that gauge right there. Okay, with everything in place, we can click take measurement at the bottom. That blue line is going to go across going to take multiple readings on the equipment, average them to give you a precision measurement. Okay, we've captured that reading. We can click continue. Okay, at this point, we take the filter out. We install the digital true flow grid. Okay, with the grid in place, we can click take measurement. There we go again. We're taking those multiple readings to give you an average and a good accurate measurement. And there we go. The system's moving 805 CFMs with the filter in place because the grid and the static pressure measurements are running a correction factor in the back end of the app to tell you that. Now, let's click continue. We'll call this TEC lab, click save, and now we get our diagnostic screen. So if you're a technician in the field, you need some advice, here's where we're going to give you some advice. Let's say the homeowner wants a report. Let's click that button at the bottom, fill out that customer's information, click create report. There you go. Two page report you can deliver to the homeowner real quick and easy by clicking the share button at the top of the screen. That's the digital true flow grid using the DG1000 manometer. Mm -hmm.